Isn't it a great joy to come into your home, brothers and sisters, even right now? Uh, we are praying for God's best for you and for your household, and uh, we appreciate your support to keep this ministry going for you and for others. This week, we talk about great feasts, makan, <laughs> amidst the challenges. Psalm 23 says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. And Tuesday, talk about a table amidst our adversities. Table is a picture of food, of course, it's a symbol of supplies, provision, and of course, enjoyment. And God says he prepared a table amidst all the adversities. Don't be surprised by the giants and difficult situations, because even though the promised land, they are giants. They are there not to destroy you, but to promote you. Nobody would have heard of David and uh, Giant killer, if there is no Goliath, nobody would have heard the great exploits of Daniel and Joseph without the adverse situation and the pit and the slavery. The same thing with the adversity faced by Henry Ford, Colonel Sanders, this is a household name. They have gone through much, but they did enjoy the table in the midst of adversities. Today we're going to touch on he prepares that table land for you. You know, sheep has many uh, enemies, the wolves and those days, lions and tigers, snakes, and of course, ticks, even as simple as that. And sheep are generally defenseless. They don't have strong teeth, sharp teeth. They don't have sharp claws. They don't have uh, the ability to run fast and a little bit of stupid, a bit stupid because they're a sheep has no sense of direction, easily get lost and can't find food by itself. And watch this flock jumping to its death. Why the mass sheep suicide? Because they were following the sheep instead of following the shepherd. So killing for us is to follow the shepherd to the table land. He prepared a table before us. The table here refers, if you look at context of those days, it's a table land. Pastor, what is a table land? It is a field of green grass, usually on the high mountain, country, through the valleys. And you can be quite sure that wolves and those day lions and bears are sneaking behind, looking for opportunity to devour, counting on the sheep to wander off. See, the, the sheep would be safe as long as they are under the shepherd's care, because the shepherd would be there to drive off those wolves lions and bear and watch while the sheep are enjoying the food. You watch those uh, safari video on the deer and the monkeys, they're eating, but they're not really enjoying because you always got to keep an eye open. But sheep are different. The sheep are protected by the shepherd. So it's important for us to follow the shepherd to the tableland. And that means you're going to be sensitive to his leading. Uh, like you saw what Elijah experienced. Getting to do what God tells you, even if you don't really see it uh, in the natural, to see how it could be the connection. For example, you see that in 1 Kings 17, God says to Elijah, Get out from here and turn eastward and hide by the brook Cherith, which flows into the Jordan, and it will be that you shall drink from that brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed you there. The ravens are the unclean birds in the Old Testament context, and the most stingy bird uh, in the natural, uh, when it eats its prey, even the bones and the, the skin and the, the, the hair are eaten. And uh, so it's a symbol of uh, perhaps physical, spiritually unclean, uh, not the best of provision. And notice that not only God tolerated the imperfect provision or imperfect people, actually commanded us to use them. Uh, and you know why? Because God gets the glory. And then later on, when the brook dries up, 1 Kings 17, Arise, go to Seraphath and dwell there. See, I have commanded a widow there to provide for you. Where is uh, this uh, Seraphath? It is the hometown of Zezebel, right in the center of enemy territory number one. And uh, the truth we learn from here is that situations don't have to be perfect before we are blessed. And uh, sometimes we say, oh, yeah, if I'm in a better place, if I'm in a better situation, if I'm in a better economy, hey, God is not limited by the circumstances. Don't
Don't let it wait for circumstances to be perfect before we see God's supernatural provision. He can bless us despite of that because He gets the glory. By the way, Sadafeth in the Hebrew means refinery. That's where we are refined, like diamonds in the core of the earth with extreme heat and temperature, producing the, the uh, glittering diamond. And uh, He can supply us in the most unexpected tableland. Many years ago when we first started RLC, I still remember a poor American lady who was actually on welfare for some reason. That welfare supply was stopped, and we had been helping her a little bit here and there, and then we first started in 222. And on our first mission trip, it amazed me that she uh, gave me a mission offering, which stunned me that I found it hard to receive. Then. Uh, uh, shortly later, during Easter Day, I remember she coming to me, beaming with joy, face uh, so uh, uh, shining with joy. There was a letter from the authority recognizing the, the mistake they have made by not giving her her monthly welfare supply. They got a back date to where they have stopped and promised to give her the rest of the life, that monthly supply. And she recall the special Bible she gave to the church on that very day. And the kidding for us to dwell in the secret place, to be able to enjoy that shepherd, uh, shepherd care. Psalm 91, who dwells in the shelter of the Most High, will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. The word dwell is in the Hebrew, uh, yasab. it means to sit down, it means to remain, inhabit. And what is the result? Verse 16, with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. The word salvation in the Hebrew means healing, health, safety, uh, ward, protected, delivered, enlarged, prosper in every area's restoration. Man, as you rest in him, in his shepherd's care, you got to see all this blessing. This is the reason why uh, Psalm 27 says, One thing I have desired of the Lord. What is the one thing? That I will seek, that I will dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord to inquire in his temple. Uh, the uh, Good News Bible says, search for an answer in the temple. Now it's great, of course, to have online services during the MCO. God can bless us despite the fact that we are limited by the circumstances. But God has designed that it is in the local church gathering in the sanctuary that release that special manifest blessing. You can experience the blessing of Psalm 133. When brethren dwell together in unity, unlike at home, perhaps uh, easily distracted by uh, these and by that, and the worship, of course, is not so intense. A hey, one word can change your life. So he prepares a tableland for us, a place of rest, nourishment, in peace, despite of all the adverse situation. The kidding to follow the shepherd. Yeah, there may be wolves, there may be lions and bears, but they can eat in peace. Because we know the shepherd will drive them off, and for us is to be sensitive to his leading. He uses imperfect people, he uses imperfect situations. God doesn't have to wait for circumstances to be perfect before he blesses us. Kidding is to dwell in his presence, enjoy his uh, shepherd care, especially in his sanctuary, in his house. Oh, let the Son of God unfold you. With His Spirit and His love, let Him fill your heart and satisfy your soul. Oh, give Him all your tears and sorrow, give Him all your years of pain, and you enter into life and be made whole. Jesus, oh Jesus, come and fill your land. Jesus, oh Jesus, come and fill Let the Son of God unfold you 
with His Spirit and His love. Let Him fill your heart and satisfy your soul. Oh, give Him all your fears and sorrow. Give Him all your years and pain. And you enter into life and be made whole. Jesus, oh Jesus, come and fill your land. Jesus, oh Jesus, come and fill Bara shalom, bara hiriya, bara kairiyan dalamas ayya, bara kairiyan dalamas ayya. The Lord Jesus Christ said, take and eat, this is my body broken for you. The Lord Jesus Christ said, this cup is new covenant in my blood, pour out for you for the forgiveness of all your sins. Father, even as the blood has been applied, we release the anointing of the Holy Spirit even right now. But all the households and brothers and sisters that are watching this even right now, truly they're going to be supernatural breakthrough in every areas of their life, in their business, in their career, in their health, in Jesus' name. Lay hand upon parts of the body that is infirm, even right now, whatever the areas, and speak healing to those areas in Jesus' name. There's a couple there that is desiring a, a baby for years. Lord, you grant them the secret petition of their heart even right now in Jesus name Ola bala shalom bara irian dala masaya the word of the lord is going to come alive this season even right now even open up the word and receive his word you're going to see tremendous changes even as you digest and eat his word Ola bala shalom bara irian and he will guide you and lead you to the table land the place of great increase great heights even in Jesus name enlarge our vision right now in the name of Jesus Christ we rebuke and bind the spirit of fear even right now come against that even Jesus name Lord that we know that the shepherd is with us even as we dwell in his presence there is that divine hedge of protection Shalom Baraka. Pessimism be uprooted even right now. Depression be gone. In the mighty name of Jesus. Fear be uprooted even right now in Jesus' name. Sleeplessness be gone in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is restoring relationship, especially with the siblings. The Lord is restoring that relationship because of some misunderstanding and it the thing doesn't work out that good in the past but the Lord is restoring that relationship and the Lord is also restoring husband and wife relationship the Lord is also saying to someone that the Lord said forgive forgive as you forgive you find that you have a greater re re relief the Lord is healing the stomach ulcer, receive your healing. Bladder condition, receive your healing. And the, the stone in the kidney, receive healing right now in Jesus' name. Pancreas, receive your healing right now in Jesus' name. Prostrate condition, receive your healing. Boom, receive your healing. Uterus, receive your healing. 
Gastric ulcer, receive your healing. That's a soft clock in the heart. Receive your healing right now in Jesus' name. Heart condition, receive your healing right now. Thyroid condition, receive your healing right now in Jesus' name. There's someone who will answer in the mouth that God is healing you right now. Someone who is very anxious over your study, you feel that you cannot, you are afraid that you cannot make it, you can't do well, and the Lord is releasing supernatural uh, uh, strength upon you. And he's releasing his anointing upon you so that you are able to do well. Receive his anointing in your study. the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause His face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord smile on you with His favor and give you His peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.